What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Chucky Season 3 in this video here today. Talking about Part 2, which we know should be coming hopefully very soon. Now that the strike is over, I'll be talking about when filming should resume for Part 2. I'll be talking about some possible spoilers. So if you don't want to know any spoilers, shouldn't be watching, but some of you really don't care. <laughs> the other thing I'll be talking about is something Don Mancini has revealed we should expect. Uh, I guess another spoiler from Don Mancini himself that is coming during part two in an interview from uh, Pop Culture Planet. I'll leave a link to it in the description for you guys to enjoy that. But Chucky season three, part two, just to start off, may resume filming later this month. Deadline put out an updated list of shows looking to resume later this month after Thanksgiving, and Chucky was on the list for those shows. So not too surprising, but I hope that this does mean that Chucky season three, part two can air sometime in early 2024, like the springtime or maybe even the summer even, because waiting until next Halloween to me is just unnecessary. If you're able to get it out sooner, get it out sooner. And if the network reports will allow it, because I get it, the network might want it to be for Halloween, I get it. But hell, I wouldn't be shocked, honestly, if Don already has aspects of four outlined and has been fleshing out some of those ideas that he's talked about since the writers and actor strikes are now both over officially. Now, it would appear, though, jumping into spoiler territory, that one of the deaths that we have coming our way during part two relates to President Collins. It looks like he's in trouble. We know that Chucky is going to be rocking the Crypt Keeper look. We've seen that in the footage they've shown us to hype part two. And Devin Sawa seems to be in trouble yet again with this pint-sized killer at all. Shout out to Slasher, Slasher Witch for sharing this, but as you see in this image, it looks like Collins is dying, but I will say it's just an, an image with missing context, but why not keep his death streak up? He's died, what, three times now? Of what, what would a fourth time hurt? It's not going to hurt. I would just say keep him dead, though. I don't want to see this be a recurring gag. I'm sorry. It's not an anthology show. I just think that Devin Sawa being back in these prominent roles over and over and over again takes away from a lot of the realism that is left behind granted i know yes some of you will chime in saying there is no realism left and i can understand where you're coming from but let's not add insult to injury diving into the next thing i want to talk about with don mancini and a scene that you can possibly not well not possibly he said it's happening he said this is coming during part two because we just haven't gotten there yet because it's going to happen during part two shout out to you Kristen, from pop culture planet for this next bit and i'll leave a link to the video for you all to enjoy and support that interview on her channel don mancini has revealed that a seance will happen during part two at the white house and it seems inspired by the lincoln administration days which were way before my time or any of you listening i'm i'm certain of that i did some research to get an understanding of what the seance could be for or what characters would be looking to do one now apparently and i quote when i did some research on president lincoln lincoln and his wife mary were heartbroken at the loss of their son and mary found herself turning to psychics in an attempt to reach out to willie who I guess was one of Lincoln's sons. The devastated woman hosted eight seances in the White House's Red Room. Lincoln himself was reportedly in attendance for some of these seances. Now, what character just started seeing their deceased son? President Collins. So it's safe to assume Collins will want to reach out to Joseph and has likely gotten his family on board for this as well, which could end up resulting in his death, unfortunately. I do want to also share my thoughts on this. I noticed, what, I noticed that there's a card in Chucky's hand in that image you saw me share earlier, I'll put it up again just for you to see. What if this is a tarot card and it ties into what President Collins will be up to during part two, trying to reach out to his son, trying to have people come over and tell him his future, tell him about ways to reach out to his son. I've seen people talk about what that card could be. That could be a tarot card. It would line up with what Diamond Cini is now saying in regards to the fact that a seance is going to take place in the White House and the fact that it's inspired by president lincoln's time and knowing what happened with president lincoln and seeing how it lines up with what's happening with the collins family and their deceased son most definitely the safest bet is that the collins are going to be performing a seance to reach out to joseph during part two how that will turn out for all of them i don't know but going off of that image just trying to tie it all together i would assume this is what leads 
President Collins to his unfortunate demise. And hopefully Devin Sawa does not return again. That's nothing against Devin Sawa, but again, this is not an anthology show. I think this shtick needs to stop. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.